Greetings and welcome. I'm very happy to bring to you today a new midweek segment. Something to get you inspired, something to get you to pick up the brush midweek, and something to remind you that the paint isn't too far away. I know that a lot of us, we really enjoy painting, but it can be hard to find the time, and sometimes it's also hard to find the inspiration. But with this new series, it's something that I hope that can kind of remind you to pick up that brush again, and of course, to stay creative. Now, this new series is going to happen every couple of weeks, mid-week, and it's going to be a little speed painting, much like the one you are watching right now. These paintings are going to be taken from the hour-long lessons over on Patreon, they're going to be sped up, and we're going to just talk about the painting itself. Not so much the techniques, but the kind of mood, the atmosphere, what we were trying to do with it, and why we were trying to do that with it. If you want more of the actual technical instructions, if you want me to talk about the water, the blending, the mixing, all of that, there is the hour-long lesson version over on the Patreon page. With that said, I really hope you enjoy this new series, and let's talk about the painting which we're working on right here, right now. So this is a moonlit beach scene, and it's something that I did a couple of months ago. It was actually the first Patreon video we did, and it was something that I was really excited about, I was really proud of. We were just getting into the summer months, and I don't know about you, but I love the beach. I love the waves. It's this really calming, cathartic thing that you can play and you can relax in. And, you know, there's also this very romanticized element about it when it's at night, when it's in the moonlight, when you can see the stars. And I kind of wanted to capture just about all of that in this piece here. So we have the wave, we have the moon, we have the stars. And then we'll also have a little bit of the beach as well. Here you can see that I actually did a lot of the sand in an orange tone as opposed to a brown or maybe a beige. And I did that because we were working with all of the blues and they are complementary colors. So I figured that they'd really help heighten each other, would help kind of build the vibrancy of the painting and ensure that the blues really popped in the way that I wanted them to. I didn't want it to all look the same. I wanted it to look like a very real but also surreal experience. I think that's something that's kind of important that we think about when we're working on our landscapes and really our paintings in general. Do we want them to be pure realism or do we also want an interjection of surrealism? Do we want to kind of heighten things past what they normally kind of present themselves as to further heighten the mood and the idea of the piece as well? This is something that I really like to do in a lot of my longer pieces, and I do it in some of the 10 minute paintings as well. But it's important to go into your painting with a good general idea of essentially just what you'd like to do with it, what you want to achieve with it emotionally, and how far you're willing to stretch and bend realism to get there. This is very much an idealized scene of a beautiful place I'd love to visit and be. And through painting it, I get to kind of transport myself in there, in that headspace, which of course is again, another really wonderful thing about painting. It can be relaxing, it can be cathartic, and it can also be something that moves you to a place that you'd really like to be at that point in time, where a lot of us probably don't live this close to a nice little beach scene here. But this is really the first episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more of these, leave it in the comments. If you have suggestions for future episodes, if you have suggestions for the style of these episodes, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to hear about it. With that being said, this is again a speed painting of the hour-long lesson over on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it is essentially a monthly subscription service where if you pledge $4 a month right now, immediately you'll receive all of these hour-long lessons. They never go away, and you get a new one every month following. If you subscribe over there at the $8 level, you get all of these hour-long painting lessons. Again, they stay here. You can go back to them, you can revisit them, and you get two new ones every month following that. So I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I post every Saturday. I hope to see you next Saturday. 
And above all, as always, stay creative.